Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and somehow the Crown Tundra is leaking. You know, you would think with this being DLC, there will be no way for this to happen, but it's Pokemon, it finds a way. So if you're trying to avoid the Sword and Shield spoilers, get off the internet right now because everything is coming out. We have so much to talk about today. So without further ado, spoilers come right at you in 3, 2, one, let's go! So this morning, all over Twitter, the account Centro Leaks has been posting information about the Crown Tundra. And here we go, once again, about to jump into spoilers, because we're gonna take a look at all the new Pokémon in the Crown Tundra. Here we go! First, let's take a look at the Galarian Legendary Birds. So, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, as we know, are all getting Galarian forms, but this leak for the first time ever shows us what their shinies are going to be like, and if you take a quick look at them, you'll notice they look very familiar. I think this is super cool. They based the shiny forms for these Galarian Legendary Birds off of the original Cantonian forms. Again, still a weird phrase, Cantonian form. I love this idea for shiny Pokemon. It's so simple, but so cool nonetheless. Like, look at the Galarian Shiny Moltres. That thing looks super cool. That might get a little confusing, though, if you have the Galarian Shiny in the regular Kanto form next to each other in the box. It might trick you up a little bit. Now, as of right now, we have no confirmation at all if we're going to be able to Shiny Hunt these three legendary birds. Judging by how detailed their Shiny forms are, I definitely think in-game we will be able to soft reset for them, but that's not confirmed at all. Game Freak has been doing this thing lately where they like to shiny lock all the legendary Pokemon, but please, these look so cool. So, so cool. Let us shiny hunt them, please. I'm really wondering if anybody predicted these. I know lots of people like to make little videos where they predict what color the shiny form is going to be, but did anybody see this coming? Now on to the Regis, we have the shiny form for Regieleki and Reggie Draco. And compared to the birds, I don't like these as much. For me personally, I honestly think the original colors are better for both of them. I especially like the blue on the Regieleki and losing that for a silverish color, eh, it doesn't really do it for me, but I think they'll definitely make some interesting shinies. Now before we jump to any of the completely brand new Pokemon, let's just take a look at the legendary Pokemon, the big boss of the Crown Tundra, Calrex, the King Pokemon, so that also has a shiny form and it's very, very subtle, you might not even notice it at first glance, but it looks like the white on Calrex becomes a little bit more of a golden color. Color. And that really seems to be about it. I don't see any other major differences right away. I have a feeling if any of the Pokemon in the Crown Tundra are going to be shiny locked, it'll probably be this one, which might be the reasoning why this Pokemon doesn't have a very loud popping shiny compared to like the Galarian Legendary Birds. But here are the new ones. Oh my goodness. So if you've been following the leaks, I covered this many, many months ago when the Isle of Armor came out and people were able to data mine stuff out of the Isle. Isle of Armor pertaining to the Crown Tundra, but if you've been following the leaks, then you know there are two horse Pokemon that Calrex is going to be able to fuse with, and prior to this, we never really got to see them until now. So first things first, let's take a look at this icy looking one. So this looks like it's going to be a brand new ice type horse legendary. Honestly, pretty cool. There really aren't that many pure ice type legendaries off the top of my head. The only one I could really think of is Regice right now. And honestly, ice types as a whole definitely need some more Pokemon. So having another ice type legendary is definitely going to be pretty cool. It might be dual typed though. We'll just have to wait and see, but I'm thinking it might just be pure ice type. The shiny form, I think looks pretty cool. They give the ice an almost purple-like hue to it. Subtle, but effective. I like it. And now we have another horse legendary. I can't really tell what type this is gonna be. Maybe fairy type, maybe dark type, maybe ghost type. There's a lot of potential based on this design. I saw people on 4chan saying this kind of looks like an emo Galarian Rapidash, which I could kind of see. But man, this generation really likes their four-legged legendaries. Once again, we knew for a while now that Calrex was going to be able to fuse with a Pokemon. In fact, going back to the data mine leaks from a long time ago at this point, we know the crown type Tundra is going to have a special story chapter or event or whatever it is going to be called the Sacred Bonds of the Sovereign and Steed. Now originally I thought that was going to have something to do with the Gen 5 Musketeer Trio and Keldeo, but now that I'm looking at this, it makes so much more sense that this chapter is going to pertain to these new Horse Legendaries and Calrex. It makes so much sense too, just looking at the name. Sovereign, which is pretty much a ruler, and Steed, they're the horses. So there we go. We just cracked the case there. 
But look at these fused forms here. So it looks like with both of these legendary Pokemon, Calyrex literally just hops on the back and says, Giddy up, horsey! You know, if Calyrex can ride these, hopefully we can like hop on their back too and ride around them. I'm sure these horse Pokemon are fast. Maybe they'll be faster than the Rotom bike and that'll be a cool way to just travel around the area. What's interesting though is the shiny forms for these fused Pokemon seem kind of unfinished. If you look really closely at the fused form of Calyrex and the Ice Legendary, you can see once again Calyrex has that golden hue, but the horse doesn't change at all. All. It's especially much more noticeable when you look at Calyrex riding the Dark Horse Pokemon. That one, its shiny form has a lot of red on it. I really like that shiny form. But when you look at the fused shiny form, you don't notice any of that red color on it at all, so I'm assuming that they're just not going to be obtainable in game. And that's pretty typical with Pokemon. They always have a placeholder shiny in the game's data just so the game doesn't crash if you somehow access it. Oop, oop, update this just in. Centro Pokemon Leaks just posted that you can choose a horse similar to how you could choose a tower for Urshifu. So it seems like choosing your horse legendary is going to be a big decision. You'll have to choose one or the other. So if you want both, you're going to have to do that whole trick where you just use multiple profiles on your Switch, play through the DLC, choose the Pokemon, and send it over. And there's a lot of other good information in this tweet as well. Ultra Beasts are catchable in the post game, which once again we already knew due to the data mine leaks a couple of months ago but it's nice getting even more confirmation. Now this third one over here is going to be interesting because I know a lot of people, what they're really waiting for in the Crown Tundra are the legendary Pokemon. So legendaries are unlocked as soon as you can access Dynamax, they spelled that wrong, but Dynamax Adventures. And the main storyline of the Crown Tundra, they claim, is going to take around four hours. There's also one more tweet here that lists the national Pokedex of the new Pokemon. So Regilecki is going to be 894, Draco is going to be 895, the Ice Horse Legendary is going to be 896, and I guess that we got confirmation for the type here. It's going to be a Ghost Horse at 897, and finally Calrex at 898. Now don't run away with this information and say, hey, we're getting a national Pokedex in Sword and shield now. No, this is mainly going to be for Pokemon Home, which has a full national Pokedex listing all the Pokemon and for internal data, but it's kind of cool knowing that we only need two more Pokemon to get to 900. I feel like they could definitely do that if they just add two more mythical Pokemon, which usually we don't get data mines. Now they've gotten smart and they put those Pokemon in through updates, so who knows? Maybe with this generation we might get up to 900 total Pokemon species. That would be kind of cool. So my friends, those are the leaks for Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's Seems like more and more and more are coming out, so this might not be the only video I release today. We'll just have to wait and see. If anybody from Nintendo or Game Freak watches this video, shoot me a message, and if you want me to take it down, I'll go ahead and do that for you. But this information is out there, I'm not the original leaker, I'm just reporting on what we have and showing it around. Because trust me, this gets people hyped up for the game, I know I'm even more excited for the Crown Tundra now that I'm seeing all this stuff, and in the comment section below, I want to know what you guys think about these leaked Pokemon. Are are you excited for the shiny forms of the Galarian legendary birds? I'm not a huge shiny hunter, but I think I'm about to become one because I want those shiny birds. Please don't shiny lock them. Please, 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 please. My friends, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll be seeing you soon with more Pokemon content. Take care.